What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another haul video for you. Um, got some pretty interesting stuff in this one. Um, of course, of course, this is my Midtown haul that I get every week, which, you know, it's pretty much the same books that y'all are getting too, but, but, um, anyway, we'll, we'll go through them anyway, and... Uh, first one up, had to have it, um, Batman number 108, love that cover though, um, this is the first full appearance of Miracle Molly, how she pans out, I don't know, compared to Punchline, Punchline kind of fell flat, but I don't know, we'll just have to see, but it's also the first appearance of Squeak. Um, first appearance of Master Wise and the origin of Peacemaker uh, 1. So, you know, quite a little couple first appearances in there, so you never can tell. And next up, we've got Man Bat, number 4. Look at that cover art, man. I love it. And I love the Man Bat character. Um, this is part four or five, so one more issue of this, and then, and then I'll have the set, so I was stoked to get that, I'm digging that, I'm digging that one. Then next up we've got, um, Swamp Thing, number three, that variant cover, and this is the first, uh, meetup of the old Swamp Thing with the new Swamp Thing, so, interesting book. I've I don't know that I'm going to stay on the Swamp Thing. Probably going to be my last issue of that. And, you know, unless some crazy key comes out in there or something I might pick up. But anyway, the next one, um, loving these. The uh, Carnage Black, White, and Blood. Loving them. Um, these are like um, little, min little mini stories uh, through... You know, um, like this one is, uh, takes place during the Maximum Carnage, uh, era. And also there's a story where Carnage is a pirate ship and, and the crew is in search of the treasure chest that contains the symbiote. So some pretty cool stories in there. And I mean, I, I'm just, I'm digging them, man. I'm digging them. And another series that I just jumped on that I'm kind of digging, um, and I'm caught up now. I've got all of them either on, you know, in hand or in transit. But that's a uh, White Widow from Absolute Comics, and this is number six. Um, I've I've got a number five and a six variant that are in transit, so to speak. Uh, the, the number six variant is a uh, pre-order ordered from the same guy. So the pre-order doesn't come out till next month. And so I'm going to have to wait on the five <laughs> because he's shipping them together. But, um, really cool digging that stuff. That and the, and the, uh, uh, I make boys cry. Same, same universe. Pretty cool stories of. And next up, we got uh, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Alpha number one. So this may be an interesting uh, little event that's going on. I may check these. I may get all these because this is sounding pretty cool. But uh, this is also the first appearance of Doc Reagan. So Reagan, whatever. The, the characters that come up with in Star Wars makes you feel illiterate because you can't pronounce half the names. But what are you going to do? And then this one. Dig this art germ cover. The Heroes Reborn. Kind of an alternate universe. Um, kind of a like a different spin on current characters. Like this is the first appearance of, of the team of Squadron Supreme. It's also the first appearance of Daywalker Blade, Dr. Juggernaut, Black Skull, Silver Witch, Algog, and also it debuts the Infinity Rings, which I think is a pretty cool 
I think that's a cool concept. But, you know, these alternate versions of characters, you know, very rarely pan out. You know, for every Spider-Man 2099, and there is, there's a freaking long box full of alternate universe characters that just didn't, didn't work. But still, we'll give it a shot. And next up, we've got Suicide Squad number three. Continuing on with the Suicide Squad and uh, Titan, Teen Titans Academy crossover. But I dig that Red X cover. That's really cool. So, and then a couple more to add to my collection. I am marking them off. I'm marking them off. I've just about got, matter of fact, I didn't even mark off my... I mark that one off because I got that, but uh, yeah, I've got yeah, I, I I'm not even kidding. I've got the I've got the list of Dark Child books. I'm I've just about got them all. Some of them I've changed almost changed my mind into doing, and I may not get. So who knows? But um, this Dark Child Redemption number one half, and this is signed by Randy Queen. You can see right at the top there. So I have a copy of this already, but it's not signed. But it's one of those wizard one halves, and it's a certificate of authenticity on the back. It says, "Hey, you got one of these um, cool ones," but it doesn't say how many how many there are or anything. I don't know why there's a certificate. <laughs> it's a t certificate that says, "Hey, you got this book." Doesn't even have it. It doesn't even have the certificate. Doesn't even say it's signed by Randy Qu Queen, but. I know his signature though, so I mean I'm 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 a hundred percent sure that's authentic. And then I've got this Dynamic Forces exclusive Painkiller Jane Dark Child preview book and uh, the European edition of it. So that's really cool, and it also comes with a uh, certificate of authenticity, limited series of seventy five hundred copies. <laughs> So there's quite a few of them, but cool nonetheless. And then so starts my journey towards my uh, amalgam uh, pickups, my quest for all the amalgam books. And on that quest, I've picked up a couple of the the more, uh, man, uh, these are the little more, not really pricey, I hate to say, but a little uh, harder to find ones. But uh, like uh, Spider Boy Team Up number one. That one. And then just the Spider Boy number one. Loving these. Love these things, man. And probably the most popular one that came out of the, all of the amalgam was uh, Legends of the Dark Claw number one. That Dark Claw character, I think was the one that it was the most popular but so i'm happy to get that and bullets and bracelets number one little wonder woman punisher kind of team up there and assassins number one i think that's like talia al ghul and uh <laughs> and Electra, my brain locked up. But anyway, so I got there's my start on the collection. Some of these I picked up earlier. The new ones I that I just got were the Spider Boy, the Spider Boy. Uh, I think were the ones I just picked up in this latest haul, and the other three were ones that I've picked up or gotten randomly earlier. But still, <clears throat> um. I'm off to a start and shout out to my buddy, uh, to my buddy Brock Morgan, uh, the Brock Ness monster for, for tipping me off to somebody who had a, a big lot of them for sale. So this may be a short, short journey to pick these all up because this guy had 14 of them. Now I have a few duplicates, but, but there'll still be some to chase, but that'll t put a big dent in it. Yeah, okay, next up, we have got um, White Widow. I picked this up on eBay, and, I, and now for the life of me, I can't remember which 
which issue this is. And uh, let's see. And it's not going to tell me. But here, I'll show it to you anyway. But look at that gorgeous cover, man. That is so, so awesome. I forgot which. I picked up so many books. It's hard to, it's hard to keep up with them. White Widow number four. Okay, so it's number four. It's a virgin variant, but uh, super stoked to get these White Widow books. Tape it back up here. Um, yeah, it's a Kickstarter book, um, but it's one of the few Kickstarter books that are actually gaining some traction. I mean, they're, they're doing really well in the secondary market. And I actually picked up my, my White Widow number six straight from uh, from uh, Midtown. So, I mean, they're getting out there. So, um, but I'm definitely digging it. And into the same universe as, um, <clears throat> as White Widow. And also one that... Um, I've seen it, my, actually seen it in my local LCS, which is weird because they have a very small selection of new comics, but it was there. But I didn't pick one of them up, but I got it, um, got it online, and I wanted, I got this lenticular variant, is I Make Boys Cry, number one. But I love that lenticular but it's from the same White Widow uh, universe. Um, but really cool. Really cool book. Um, like I said, I got in early on the on the White Widow stuff. Early enough to where they're not insane. But they're still kind of pricey. We're in the $20 range for the early stuff. But uh, pretty cool series to pick up. You know, I'm kind of getting into the... Those bad girl characters are really, I'm really digging them, you know, with me chasing the dark child stuff. It evolves, it evolves so quickly, man. Starts off with, you know, a friendly conversation about some evil Ernie and some 90s books, you know, and the uh, chaos comics, and then evolves into, ooh, I want to pick up the first appearance of Lady Demon. Ooh, I want to pick up the first appearance of Purgatory. And then all of a sudden, oh, Dark Child. Man, I remember that book. That was such a great character, great story. So now I'm chasing all the Dark Childs, which leads me to the other bad girl comics, White Widow. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, too. So now i got to pick up them. So it's a snowball effect. And it's crazy. <clears throat> but anyway, um, wrap this up. That was my haul video. Don't forget, um, thanks immensely um, and a huge shout out. To my buddy, uh, Wink Inc. Uh, Alex um, had a little giveaway and he's always supporting the community and trying to get people pushed to their milestones. And he was trying. He tried that Sunday. Uh, he tried to get me from, it was a it was a big ask, to get me from 922 uh, to 925 all the way up to 1,000 subscribers in one show. It was a pretty tall order, but... Hey, you guys came through, and as of this video, um, I'm at nine. I was at 984 as of the filming of this video. Now I'm at this number. And maybe even by the time you see this video, I may have hit it. I don't know. You tell me. Did I hit it? Am I there? Maybe this. Maybe that close. But. We are so close, and as I as I hinted to in my previous video, um, like and as Winking did to me uh, the, the couple Sundays ago, I want to help somebody get to those milestones. I want to, especially especially the channels that are just starting out, because y'all we've all been there. We have all just started out, and we all know. We all know the frustration of of making these videos for 20 people, you know, 10 people, 25 people. 
and it's just like, is anybody even watching? Why am I doing this? You kind of start to second guess yourself and, and think it's never going to happen until you hit that 100 subscribers. Once you hit that first 100 subscribers, it seems like, okay, okay, th this is kind of taking off and things are looking up. So I want to help a new channel, brand new channel, uh, get to that 100 subscriber mark. And, and of course, um, it's going to be my buddy, Jason, the comic book preacher. Uh, we've developed a really good friendship. Um, again, we are, we are practically neighbors. We, we live 10 minutes from each other and, um, I see him all the time and he is a really good friend and a really good, really good dude. Um, and I want to get him to a hundred subscribers. So that's going to be part of the giveaway. Uh, that, that'll be, that'll be when we give the book, when the book will actually be given away. When he hits a hundred subscribers, then I'm going to draw, draw the names for the book. We're going to get the book away. And I know what y'all are probably thinking. Y'all are going, geez, Stevie, God, we subscribed to your channel and got you to a thousand. Now we got to go get somebody. Hey, it's all about growing this community. If I can't do, if I can't use my, use my channel to help out another channel, you know, I think, I think the bigger you are, the more you should help. There's no comp, there's this, this, this community is not about competition. You know, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, having a good time, making new friends, sharing my collection. That's what these, that's what these channels are all about. And, and Jason wants to be a part of this community. He's a good dude. Don't let the comic book preacher name fool you. You're not going to go on his, his comic book channel and, and listen to his sermon. He, he talks about his comics. He's got a separate channel for his ser sermons. If you'd like to, if you would love to check out his sermons, I'm sure he'd have, be more than happy to have you. But he he separates he separates his comics from his church stuff. So if you ain't into the church thing, I get it. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Go to his channel, little, check out his haul videos, his uh, mystery box videos. And check him out. He's a really good dude. I highly suggest you watch his origin story video. Get to know him a little bit. But uh, anyway, so there's your heads up. So you might as well head over and start subbing him up now. Because when I hit a thousand and he hits a hundred, by God, we're going to give this bad boy away. And that it's worth it. I, I understand that it's I, it's a it's a big ask. And I, and I get it. It's It's a couple of hoops to jump through. But you're getting a three hundred dollar comic book. You get a chance for this for this monster book. Not to mention a chance. Uh, whoever wins is going to not only get this, but is going to get an original cover art uh, book from Squatchy Inc. Original, one of a kind. You'll be the only one to have it. He's going to send that bad boy to CGC. Get it the yellow labeled. And slabbed, and about I think about I think he's on a 99% success rate with his getting his books back from CGC being a 9.8. So the your your odds of that are pretty good. Uh, so it's a hell of a giveaway. It's a hell of a lot of books, and Squatchy's puts in a hell of a lot of work on these covers. I think he charges $150 minimum for a custom cover. So, I mean, you're getting close to $500 in value. So, yeah, I'm going to ask you to help my friend out in, in exchange. Don't think, I don't think it's unreasonable. Come on. Come on, guys. Help him out. But anyway, that's going to do it. Hopefully, by the time you see that video, we're at a grand. Uh, 1K. <laughs> and my buddy Jason's already hit, will have already hit that $100 mark. And it's just a matter of, collecting some names and getting them and drawing a winner but that being said that's gonna bring it into this one remember before you go like my shit comment on my shit subscribe to my shit and turn that bell on so you don't miss my new shit we'll see you guys in the next shit peace